Hello everyone. This is coadb.com or the Coat of Arms database. And today we are briefly going to discuss several different coats of arms in the Stanton family. The first is blazoned Argent across Pate Gules. The armature is not known on this one. I wasn't able to find it, but it looks very old given how simple the design is. Another Argent three crosses Flory Gules. Again, not stated, but a version with a lion pass an oar in chief was born by Sir Robert Staunton in the 1300s AD. Another with a annulet. There, Argent and Sable on the Canton Ghouls, a lion passant garden oar found in London. Not sure who this belonged to in London, but we know it was born without the lion by Helis de Stanton and Sir William de Stanton, who lived in the early 1300s, as well as the Stauntons of Pembroke in Wales. There, Ermine and Ermines, a Canton Ghouls, associated with Staffordshire in England. The coat of arms is similar to that of Staunton of Birchmore and Woburn in Bedfordshire, England. They descended from John Staunton of Woburn, who had son Sir Francis Staunton of Birchmore, who was knighted in the year 1621. There, Oren Sable on the Canton Ghouls, Somerset, England. Argent on a cross Sable, five Byzants. Azure, a cross in Grailed Ermine. Sable, a chevron between three lion's heads erased Argent, belonging to the Stantons of Clove Valley in Devonshire. The manor of Clove Valley was held jointly by John D. Stanton and John Manville in the year 1314 AD. Argent, two chevron Sable and the Dexter Chief, a martlet of the second, crest in Ermine Ghouls. Not sure who this coat of arms and crest belong to, but we know the arms without the martlet and with a border and grailed was born by Sir Geoffrey D. Stanton and Sir Thomas D. Stanton in the 1300s AD and by John Stanton, who was living in the year 1575, a citizen and merchant tailor of London. The arms without the martlet was that of Staunton Baronets of Cargans, Sir George Leonard Staunton, the first baronet, born 1737, was an Irish botanist and an employee of the British East India Company, the son of Colonel George Stanton of Galway. Here we see a picture of the first baronet on the left and his son, the second baronet, on the right. Another Argent Aben Crinelli Sable. Sable to Lion's Paws in Chevron Argent. Sable, an orly of Martlet's Argent, born with a sinky foil in the middle by Sir Robert D. Staunton in the early 1300s. Ghouls, a lion rampant oar. And there were some other Stantons who I believe may have borne coats of arms. We just weren't able to pair them up with the correct ones here. Uh, Henry D. Stanton, an English medieval canon, law jurist, judge, and churchman, chancellor of Oxford University in the late 1200s AD. Thomas Staunton, the son of George, mayor of Galway. He was a captain in the Galway militia. And we have Thomas Staunton of Holbrook Hall in Suffolk, born 1706, a member of parliament for Ipswich. If you enjoyed this video and would like to find out who your ancestors were and learn whether or not they owned a coat of arms, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description, where we offer professional genealogy research services. Thank you very much.